Greetings, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I just wanted to come on here today uh, to share a dream that I had on March 14th. But before I get into the dream, I would like to thank all the people that since that last video that I asked for your prayers to, for recovery of my health, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for who did pray for me. And uh, I'd like to report that uh, I feel like 100% better. And, uh, you know, that proves the power of prayer and that proves the power of uh, believers when they get together and set their mind and hearts or something to do something and get together and lift up the name of the Lord and uh, refuse to back down and go on the offensive instead of the defensive. It's time for God's people to go on, some of God's people to go on the offensive against these trolls and these people on the internet, on YouTube here, something that uh, want to make it their full-time job or something just to harass God's people. They hide behind uh, uh, no photos and no subscriber counts and uh, no favorite videos or whatever, like cowards. And so that's why I challenge them. And anytime I'll go on somebody else's channel, make a, a two sentence sentence comment about somebody's video or something, and a lot of times I'll get these people. They'll start they'll start posting all these nasty comments about a one or two sentences I said about to compliment somebody's video, and it's just totally uncalled for. Uh, and it's just something that I'll uh, never back down on, and I'm not going to tolerate. So I will stand head-to-head -head with it every single time. I just want to make that uh, plain. And uh, I'm not going away. So to all the trolls and mockers and scoffers that are out there, I'm not going away. And all your mocking and scoffing will do, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is going to make me more and more determined to lift up the Lord's name. So, um, bring it on. Like George Bush said a few years ago, bring it on. Because I'll, I'll, I'll challenge you and go head to head with you any day with the word of the Lord, which none of you guys happen to ever, to, uh, ever use. You just talk about a false teacher and false prophet. You use those terms and stuff. But like I told a few people here recently in the last few days on some other comments I made on other people's videos, go do a video and provide some proof against somebody. If you're going to make a claim, provide some kind of evidence to back up your claim. Not just a... Uh, 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 just a claim with no kind of proof or evidence, just, just falsely accusing somebody. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to get off of that little rant or something for, for now and get into the dream I had on March 14th. I wanted to also ask anybody, because for some reason when I went to make the video on the dream, the last two or three days I tried to make it, I tried to make it on my uh, camera on the cell phone, which the very first video I ever did that was over 20 minutes, I did that on the, uh, the cell phone camera. And I did some other videos on the cell phone camera that were anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. But when I tried to make the video on the dream the other day, uh, once it got to like two and a half to three minutes, less than three minutes, the camera shut off. It just stopped recording. And I don't know if, if anyone else out there has ever had that happen to them. If, if you have or something, you could comment and let me know if there's uh, some kind of setting or something that might be on the video camera thing itself that's causing it to shut off. But I went to the page where it's got all the camera controls. And I don't see any kind of thing that would like limit the setting like a timer or anything like that that you can put on the camera or something on your videos that's going to, you know, cause it to go off in two and a half or three minutes. So I don't know what it was about the dream. I feel like, you know, the enemy don't want me to put out the dream for whatever reason. I, I don't know, but 
I never had so much trouble trying to make a video. Um, and I would welcome comments on anybody that's ever had that happen on their cell phone camera. Uh, just to, you know, maybe there's something that's, I, I pushed the button or something on there or something that did something to limit the time that the video will take. Um, I'm not sure, though. So, but anyway, thanks again, everybody, for your prayers, because I'm a thousand percent better. And then as the weather warms up here uh, in the next week or two and gets warm, uh, then I'm uh, really going to be going on the <laughs> offensive uh, because that is what the Lord has called me to do. And that is why my video channel is called the Sword of the Lord because uh, he's going to, you know, use that sword to cut. Uh, it's that two-edged sword or something that he's going to use to you know, cut to the heart of the matters and stuff and, you know, cut uh, cut down some of these trolls with this word uh, uh, and, and go to battle and, uh, and be uh, in, in involved in spiritual warfare. So part of my ministry is spiritual warfare, um, but it's just a part of the ministry. But uh, the Lord's made it plain to me to be bold. To be bold and go on the offensive and uh, be one voice out crying out in the wilderness, so to speak, like John the Baptist. But be bold and, and open up your mouth and praise the Lord, lift up his holy name and refuse to, you know, be ashamed about it and apologize to the trolls for making the videos or something trying to glorify his name, uh, you know. If he's called you to do a, a video ministry or something, then do it boldly, with boldness. And uh, if uh, my next video that I do after this is going to be about praise and worship. And he recently told me that that's one of the greatest weapons to use against the enemy. is a daily praise and worship and uh, stand in the word, Get, getting in your... Bible every single day, make some time for it outside of just watching YouTube videos and get in the Word every single day and read some because that Word, the Bible says, if you read the Word, then it will renew your mind. It will renew your mind daily. And we need to renew our minds daily. And we need strength from the Lord and we need to uh, empower and strengthen the Holy Spirit within us every single day and put on the whole armor of God and never let up. Don't even let up for a day or two because if you do, uh, that's when something can happen. Make it a daily practice and uh, stay strong in the Lord because he's just about ready to come back. We're almost done. It's almost time to go home, but let's go out with a blaze of glory and let's, uh, you know, stand up and do the thing that the Lord's called us to do and, and uh, make him, uh, you know, proud that he's called us or something to do what we've done and not be ashamed or something or, or have second thoughts or something about, well, I wonder why, you know, maybe I shouldn't even have asked this person to do it because uh, they're half-hearted about this and lukewarm instead of putting their whole heart into into the thing. But I'm going to put my whole heart into this thing. And the people that subscribe to the channel and stick with me, uh, you're going to you're gonna be surprised by what you see in the coming months. Uh, because when I started out the channel, you know, on and uh, off, back and forth, like I explained in that last video, I've been battling a lot of, you know, respiratory uh, colds and, different things like that, you know, for a few months. And uh, so now I felt, you know, yesterday I felt fantastic. So just the very next day after your prayers, I felt like 100% better. So uh, thank every uh, everybody that, you know, prayed for me. I really appreciate it. And um, anybody, if they, uh, you know, want to, ever post anything down in the comments on any, any of my videos to, you know, pray for you for any kind of situation you're in, 
go ahead and post a you know prayer request down in the comment box and uh, and I'll pray for you because uh, it makes the difference. So I, I'd like to get into the dream now. No dream or that I ever have I've ever had so far. They're never long. They're they're really short. On that morning, uh, I, I work a midnight shift, and just maybe an hour or so before I went to bed, I asked the Lord if he would, you know, give me a dream about something that was going to happen in the future. And I've, you know, heard people, you know, say before, well, we, we don't, we've never had any dreams or something and uh, to any of that. And maybe they, you know, wonder, uh, you know, maybe it upsets them or something. And they wonder why they never have any dreams. But all I, I would say to that is, uh, you know, just ask the Lord about it. If you'd like a dream or something like that, simply ask. Like Matthew 7, 7 says, ask and you'll receive. You know, you have to ask a lot of times. He's just waiting on us to, a lot of times, just to ask. And if we fail to ask for something, well, if you didn't, you didn't get any, you didn't get something because you didn't ask. That's what the word says. We, we don't receive the blessings of, of certain times because we don't ask. Simply because we don't ask. No more complicated than that. Anyway, in this dream that I had, uh, I was on a, a city street in some suburban area that I don't recognize. I mean, I've never been in it uh, in this neighborhood before. But it looked like, you know, a typical suburban neighborhood here in America. And it looked like an, uh, it was an older neighborhood because uh, the street was tree lined. They had tr uh, trees on both sides of the road and they were large. Uh, even in my daughter's neighborhood, uh, you know, it's about five miles from here. It's an older neighborhood like that. And they got, you know, really pretty uh, grown, full grown trees it might be 30 years old, 40 years old. And some of them are pretty enormous. And they have a big tree in their back. My daughter has a big tree in her backyard. It's really big. Um, and that's the way this neighborhood was. And it was like a, a, a partly cloudy day. It was sunny, but there were clouds in the skies, but, uh, you know, not storm clouds or anything, but clouds. And I was walking, I found myself walking down the street and I got about halfway down the block. And then I went up to a house and I walked up the steps. They were kind of like a, about 10 steps, you know, it was a real tall porch or something. And I walked up there and um, knocked on the door and my mom answered the door. And um, I haven't seen my mother since 2005, since she passed away in 2005. So, um, you know, I was surprised to see her. And of course, when she opened the door in, in one of her hands, she had like a, she was carrying like a garbage bag or something. And she had told me that the power was off and she was carrying out that bag to the set out to the curb because all of the food in her refrigerator had spoiled. So she said that uh, there was no power on in the house. And um, this was like the middle of the afternoon when I was walking down the street. So I wouldn't have noticed that if there was a power failure in the neighborhood because it was like a bright sunny day. So she asked me if I would come back tomorrow, hopefully, you know, call ahead or something and see if her power was back on. And then I could come back and visit the next day. So I said, okay. So, you know, she closed the door and then I went back down the stairs and then I started walking back down the block. And I was walking back on the street as I started walking down the street. Slowly the skies all around were, uh, you know, started turning dark. Slowly, slowly all on every side around the any, northeast, south, and west, any way you look. Uh, these thick clouds started forming all around. And... Um, it finally got to the point right at the end of the dream, when the dream ended, I was walk, walking in, a, in the middle of the road 
and the only light, the only clear area of sky in the neighborhood or something was right above the street. And so it was an open spot. And so there was some light and uh, sun and stuff streaming down in the middle of the road. But all the way around, everywhere else uh, uh, you could look, were these dark, thick, ominous clouds. And uh, that's when the dream ended. And, and the next day when I uh, I got to thinking about it, I didn't, I never, if I get a dream or anything like this, I don't want to uh, just put something out right away. It's something I'm going to pray about and everything before I would ever do that. And think about every single thing I see in the dream and then try to, you know, meditate about it and see if I can come up with some explanation uh, for every little thing that I saw in the dream. So uh, the, the clouds didn't look like normal clouds to me. That was one thing I observed and noticed or something. It didn't look like regular clouds. So I got to looking online. I looked up online and I, I saw that the clouds were uh, volcanic ash clouds. That's what I saw in the dream. I didn't see regular storm clouds. These were volcanic ash clouds. So wherever this little town was, if it was outside, if there was a mountain around somewhere close, obviously that mountain had erupted and it was spewing out those uh, real thick ash clouds down, you know, wherever the town was, was coming down there and then slowly filling up the sky with those volcanic ash clouds. Uh, so... I took it that the dream was showing me that there was going to be a, a volcanic uh, eruption somewhere here in the United States in the future, a very large volcanic eruption. That was the one conclusion I came to about the dream. And then the second uh, important item that I really focused on in the dream was the fact that I saw my mother in the dream, and I was wondering, well, why would, why would I see my mom in the dream? So this is some future event where there's going to be this large volcanic uh, explosion somewhere in the United States, and I'm, I'm in this little town or something, uh, you know, right outside of where the mountain is or whatever. But why, why would I see my mother in the dream? You know, what was that about? Because I haven't seen her since 2005. And what I came to after praying and meditating on that item was that that was symbolizing to me that whenever this event took place, it would take place just before the rapture. And so to see my mom in the dream meant that, uh, you know, here this eruption has taken place. And then my mom was telling me, come back tomorrow, so I thought, Make sure the power is back on, and then we can visit together and we can see one another. Uh, but she couldn't, you know, she didn't have time to visit with me that day. So the eruption takes place, the ash clouds are filling up the sky, and my mom's telling me, you come back tomorrow, and then we can see each other. So, uh, of course, because she passed away in 2005, you know, the Bible says the dead in Christ will rise first. And then when which we which were alive and remain will be caught up in the clouds to meet them. Uh, and then we'll be, all of us will be together with the Lord from now on. So if the dead in Christ rose first, and then we go up in the air to meet them, and then I would meet my mom in the air, in the rapture is that what the Lord's trying to tell me but I will meet my mom in the air in the rapture shortly after the volcanic eruption um, you know I'm not a hundred percent sure about that but that's what the dream is about it's about a large volcanic eruption somewhere in the U United States could it be Yellowstone because it's uh, re recently there's like a lot of earthquake activity out there right now could it be some place like mount st helens again could it even be in an unusual place where there's a mountain because for some reason 
a couple days after I had the dream, I even looked down the line and I was looking for mountains over in New York State. I don't know why. I was looking to see if there was mountains in New York State because the street that I looked up where I was looking up suburban streets and I was going to use that picture of that street, tree-lined street, uh, I was going to use the picture. I found out that that picture of that suburban area was taken in New York State. So then I went and started looking to see if there was any mountainous areas there. Uh, I'm not saying that that's got anything, you know, that there's going to be any kind of thing happen there. But that's just what happened to me. So I wanted to share that uh, with everybody because I do think that that's going to be a futuristic event. And that could be something that happens shortly before the rapture. And some things may happen and begin to happen here in the United States before the rapture. We may be here to see some natural disasters and stuff occur. But uh, I agree with most of the people when they have dreams and visions and they see that like as soon as we're being taken up, it's like all hell breaks loose or something. Some people have seen nuclear explosions and everything else, like a war breaks out or whatever, right after, just right after we're taken out. And and I believe that the real bad stuff, all of that stuff's going to happen, happen after we're taken out. But some things may happen before. We may see some natural disasters or the, na uh, the dream that I had about the national emergency. We might see that before the rapture also. But um, I believe that the Lord's coming back soon, and we should be keep ourselves in the Word. We should repent of any you know sin, uh, sins that we might have or bad habits or something. We should be repentant about it and turn from any type of thing like that and try to live as holy of a life as we can right now up till the time and be watching for Him up till the time He comes to take the church out. Everybody should be, you know, be this way. Try to be, live a holy life. Stay in the Word and praise and worship a few times a week, or, or if you could, every single day would be better. Um, so that concludes today's video. My next video subject will be on uh, praise and worship. I don't know when I'll be doing that. It may be several days until I do that because I'm going to have to prepare an outline for it. But uh, I'd really... Again, I really would love to thank uh, each and every person that prayed for me. And uh, also, I watched another sister's video where, where she was talking about, you know, raw honey, eating raw honey and lemon juice and things like that. And I'm going to try some of that stuff, too, to just, I'm almost 100% well now. But I'm going to take that stuff and uh, all of that stuff to reinforce everything and stay well, get well, and stay well from here on out, and um, and then go from there, uh, but uh, thank everybody, and um, you know, I love each and every one of you, and in the Lord, and uh, I, but I know that he loves you more than, than I love you, and, and, and Jesus is our best friend, and if Jesus wants a personal relationship with each and every one of us. And uh, we all account and we all matter. And we're, if we're in the body of Christ, uh, there's many different members in the body. And you may have a certain uh, calling or something that's in gifts and stuff that I don't have. And the same for me. I may have some gifts and callings you don't have. And then when we get together, that's when the we're strong because we can go back and forth and help one another and use the different gifts that each and every one of us have. And uh, as a result, everyone is blessed. So, um, and I'd like to thank my new subscribers. And uh, uh, I'd like to say I'm meeting a lot of interesting people on YouTube that are, that are in the Lord and uh, a lot of really nice people. And, uh, so uh, it's going to get interesting here in the coming months. You know, he has a plan. Some people are going to be surprised because between now and the rapture, 
there's going to be some surprising, unexpected, unexpectedly good events that the Lord has planned for his, some of his people. There's some good events on the horizon coming up here real soon. That, that, that stuff could start in the next few days, but uh, just so hang in there. And if you're struggling or uh, anything like that, hang out, hang in there. Don't give up. Don't don't get discouraged and don't quit. But uh, in in your circumstances, even though they might be bad, continue to lift up the name of the Lord and praise praise Jesus no matter what your circumstances are, and you will be blessed. And eventually, He will turn things around in your favor. If things are going bad right now. He'll turn things around in your favor if you'll continue to praise him regardless of your circumstances. Don't curse your circumstances. P continue to praise him in your circumstances. Um, God bless you all, and uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.